Guys, welcome to ASFN. I'm going to be showing you how to make a hammerhead trace um, using what we have here. It's very simple, very soft and supple line, very important. Nylon coated wire, 7x7 seven seven surf line. Again, very important, it's soft and supple. A lighter, Dacron, sinker uh, clip, solid rings. 5-0 circle hook. Now depending on the size of the fish that you're actually trying to catch, you will change the size of the hook that you're going to be using. Obviously you want to catch bigger 20-30 kilo hammers, opt for the bigger hook. Hammerheads have got very small mouths. Um, and again, a variety of size dangles depending on the size of the fish that you're trying to target. These things are unbelievable, they're quick and easy to use and I'll show you how to make your own dangle within 20 seconds. It's so simple. For this one I'm going to be using this little uh, variation over here. Okay, let's just clean it up a little bit. <coughs> okay guys, so uh, you take your 5 tuna circle hook, your 30 centimeters of 7x7 Surflon Supreme, stick it through the eye and we're just going to snell it. So what we do is we wrap it around five times. So one, two, three, four, five times. And then go through the top all the way down like that. Pull tight. Take your lighter and we just lightly melt the plastic. And there we go. Nicely melted, it's not coming loose. Cut off the tag end. Okay. We now take our 1.5 meters of nylon and we attach it by doing a figure of eight. So one, two, three, four times, it's more than enough. And again, we just open it up very slowly to form your figure of eight. There we go. Just a little bit of lubrication there. We then take our seven by seven and we do a figure of eight twice with the wire. And just keep on moving it together. There's your figure of eight formed. Pull it so it's reasonably tight. Lubricate between the nylon and the wire and you just slide it down with your fingers to get it to where you want it to be. Put that side there. Take our pliers and pull it tight. There we go. Pull the knot tight, and we just cut off the tag ends. So there we go guys. So we've got pretty much 25 centimeters of wire left now. A nice figure of eight on either side. And like I said, about 1.5 meters of line. Now what we do is we take a solid ring. And just to give you an idea, this is a size 5. I'm just going to grab 2 out of the packet. 1, 2. Take the end part of it. Like so. And we're just going to tie a figure of 8 again. 1, 2, 3. Simple as that. Just remember, 
I'm targeting a hammerhead in the five to six kilo range. <clears throat> if you're going bigger, obviously you go heavier on your line. There's no secret to that. With my soft supple line again, I'm going to take one, two meters of nylon. Cut that. And we are attaching it to the other side of our solid ring. Three. Figure of eight. Okay. So guys, once again, form your figure of eight. Like so. Okay. So now on the two meter part of your line, another solid ring. Okay. One, two, three times. Forming your figure of eight. Slide it down, pull tight. Cut off the tag end. Let's pull the nylon up here like that. We then take our sinker clip <coughs> out and what we do is we just cut off the swivel because we don't need that swivel. We then open up the actual sinker clip a little bit. We then cut the clip part down. Like so, just to form our own little clip. So that's all we do, is forming our own little clip. Just something nice is to take that eye piece and just bend that eye piece back just ever so slightly. And we just open it up a little bit more, that clip. There we go. Okay, so that's basically what you do. I then open it up, like so, if you see that. We then take our little clip that we've got, our little solid ring, sorry. <clears throat> take our clip and stick our clip inside it, like so. So that's all we've basically done. And then we just close the clip again. Take our pliers and bend it down so it's back where it was. Your leader line now goes onto the top of that ring, that solid ring. Okay, give you an idea of what we're trying to achieve. That then sits on there. This is basically what we're trying to achieve. I'm just going to stand up here so you can have a look. Your leader is going to go onto that clip. There's your hook over there. When this unclips, your float is going to push it right up into the top and obviously your sinker is attached to this section here so let's just do the sinker so you see the entire trace where is that line that I had <clears throat> okay so your sinker part of it will go on here it's got the actual clip on Cut that off. We then take our sinker clips. Again, they are there. Two, three. And we grab ourselves a sinker quickly. There's our sinker. And we just attach our sinker to our sinker clip. Like so. Okay. So now, to run through the whole trace again.
your leader is going to be attached to the solid ring that's got the clip on it. The clip attaches to the solid ring which is nearest the actual hook, which is there. And then obviously the dangle is going to be attached to that, which I'll attach to you now. Just do this quickly just so you can see what we're trying to achieve here. If I can get the clip. There we go. Okay. So that's basically the length that you're actually throwing. It looks very, very confusing until you actually see it in full length. So that's the length that you're throwing. When your sinker hits the water, that comes off over there. That comes off. This being your actual flotation, floats all the way up in the air. So there we go. You've got a five meter trace that you can float your bait right up on the surface. And as you know, hammerheads swim around on the surface 90% of the time. To make the actual dangle, like I said, which one I'm gonna take? I'm gonna take this here. And it's very quick and easy to make the dangle. Uh, this is our Kingfisher floats. What size is this one? This one is a two inch float. That's what they look like over there. We've got a bit of Dacron. We've got a um, solid ring. There we go. Solid ring. Let's grab our solid rings out quickly. Ha! Okay. So there's a piece of wire that's been doubled. All that we do is we take a 130 pound uh, braid. Open the Dacron up a little bit. Force the wire. And this is a number 14 wire, so it's quite thick. A number 6 wire generally works a lot better. We're just sliding the Dacron, if you can see there. My well, big fat fingers don't get in the way. Just down it all the way through until you've got about that much I don't know what is that eight centimeters two inches there we go pull it through take our solid ring stick it over the top take our braid stick it through the center there and we just pull it over Take it out. <clears throat> Cut off the excess. The best thing you can do to stop it from fraying is just take your lighter and just lightly burn it. And then before it melts completely, push it through. Okay. And whatever length you want it to be at, scissors, there we go. Okay. So what we've created is basically a normal uh, dangle with our float. All we do is just grab one side of it and pull, it comes out, pull, and comes out. You want the side that's got the lead on it. You take your scissors or anything that's got a point on it and you just slightly increase the size of it. Just to make it a little bit bigger. If you can see just the hole. The second piece, <clears throat> if I create a small little point on it, should actually fit through there nicely. Take your scissors, and again, you just want to open that hole up again to make it a little bit bigger so your braid can go through so just go through that little pipi through there 
stick that through your float pull it tight you can if you want stick a little bead on over there just to give a little bit more space for when you're making um, your float and I have actually got a, a little bead here so I'm actually gonna now I'm not even waste my time stick that one through the other side that goes through there like that squeeze him down and then all I do is I make a little overhang granny knot to stop it from moving there's your dangle mate quick easy nothing fancy about that <clears throat> now all we're gonna do is just because it's a bit long cut it down to the size that we want it to be lighter to stop it from fraying and we're good to go uh, nylon does help grab my hook and again all you're gonna do is take your hook stick it through the dacron back through the other side to get the right distance away and still allow movement so I'm just gonna bring him a little bit closer and there we go okay so I'm very happy with that okay so there is your trace complete